In this problem, we're told to use the method of cylindrical shells to find the volume of the solid obtained by rotating the region bounded by the given curves about the y-axis. So this is number 10, and we're told y equals the square root of x, x equals 0, and y equals 2. So I went ahead and graphed it here. Uh, you can graph it if you want. I just think it makes it easier to solve. So since we're rotating around the x-axis, right? So they tell us we're rotating around this axis right here. What you want to do is make sure the equations you're given are in terms of y. So when I say in terms of y, you want to say x equals whatever variables of y. So in this case, we have y equals the square root of x. What you want to do is make sure it's, uh, you want to have x equals. So if I just want x by itself, I can just square both sides and get x equals y squared. And so that's just easier because you're going to use this when you actually solve the integral. So x equals y squared, that's what's graphed right here. Well, it's the square root of x, it's the same thing. But essentially, this is what's graphed here. Let's graph the other things they tell us. So they tell us x equals 0. So that would be a line like this, up like this. And then we're told y equals 2. So this is y equals 2. So essentially, this is going to be the area. So it's always good to sketch out what your area is going to look like. So this is going to be what we're trying to find the volume of by rotating around this. And so in order to solve this, what you need to know is the formula for the shell method is v equals 2 pi times the integral from a to b of your radius times your height. So this is the formula you use. And so what we want to do first is solve for a and b. So here's our integral. So what's going to be a and b? Essentially, they're the lower and upper bounds of your curve, right? And so it's going to be from where you go from the y to the y. Because notice, whenever you rotate or when you try and find the volume by rotating around the x-axis using the shell method, your, when you, your integral is going to be in terms of y, right? So everything in here is going to be y. So basically, you're going to check the y upper and lower bounds. If you're rotating around the y-axis, it would be the x bounds. So just know that you're doing y when you rotate around the x. It's kind of swapped. So what we want to do is find the lower bound and the upper bound. And the way you can do that is you can look at it graphically right here. We can see it goes from 0 to 2. But if you don't know that, what you can do is just take your equations and set them equal to each other. So we know we have a line at x equals 0. So if we want to find our curve, uh, right, we have x equals 0. We want to find where it is vertically. Our line touches it. You can just take your curve, and you can do it both ways because it's the same. Just plug in 0 for x, and you can see where it's at for y. So if I plug in 0 for x, y is also going to be 0. So we know the lower bound, or one of our values, is 0. And then the other one, we can just plug in 2 for this, right? So we know that x equals y squared. And we know that, well, we already know y is 2. Like, they just tell us right away. So if they were giving you an x or something else, you could just plug it in. But in this case, we know y is just going to be 2. So we know that's going to be the upper bound. So that's 2. And then what about the radius? So the radius, whenever you're rotating around the x-axis, will always be y. Uh, that's something you just have to keep in mind and know. If it was a different horizontal line that you're rotating around, it's going to be a different value. But just know if you're rotating around solely the x-axis, it's always going to be y. So just keep that in mind. So we have y times the height. So what's going to be the height? So the way I want you to think about the height is solving for the area between the two curves. But keep in mind, since we're using y's, it's going to be this way, right? Don't think about it this way. Or don't think about it vertically. Think about it horizontally. And you know if you're doing it horizontally, what you want to do is take your curve or your highest curve, right? That's what you do when you rotate around the x. Essentially, it's, you do the same thing for the y. It's just the one that's to the right the most. So in this case, we take the one that's to the most right and subtract it from the one that's to the most left, right? So in this case, we have the two curves. One's x equals 0, which doesn't really do anything, but you just want to take the one that's to the most right, which in this case is this curve right here, y squared. So that would be y squared, and then you minus the one that's to the most left, right? So this distance right here, so it would, which would be 0. So y squared minus 0 is nothing. So... That's going to be that, right? y squared minus 0 is just y squared. And then dy, don't forget that. And then I'm not going to go ahead and solve this for you because you should be pretty good at solving integrals now. I just wanted to set it up for you. So it's going to be v equals, if you solve this, v equals 8 pi. So this right here is going to be your answer. And this is how you set it up. And hopefully you found this useful.